Polling has concluded in the island nation of Sri Lanka with a voter turnout of over 80 percentage. With 15.9 million registered voters, this was touted as a watershed moment in the history of one of Asia's oldest democracy. And this is an election like never before. Both leading contenders, Gautabaya Rajapaksha and Sajit Premadasa, arrived at their respective polling stations to cast their vote. Rajapaksa appeared extremely confident as he arrived at the polling booth. He said that the people of Sri Lanka will get a better future under his presidency. Sir, do you feel confident, sir? Yes. Sir, very confident, very confident. Sir, 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 sir. Sir, how confident are you, sir? Very confident. Sorry? Very confident. And sir, what do you want to bring to the people of Sri Lanka, sir? Sir, if elected, what do you want to bring? People of Sri Lanka will get a better future under me, under my presidency. Gautabaya Rajapaksha's main rival, Sajid Premadasa, took to Twitter urging people to go out early and cast their ballot. Meanwhile, Sri Lanka's current and former leaders exercised their franchise. Sri Lanka's election authority has also revealed instances of efforts to influence voters in many polling booths in the southeastern district of Manaragala. Local leaders were seen attempting to influence voters in favor of Rajapaksa's SLPP party. Meanwhile, a convoy of Muslim voters were ambushed in northwestern Sri Lanka merely hours before polling opened in the country. Police said that gunmen burnt tires on major roads to set up roadblocks, after which a convoy of 100 buses were ambushed. Police say that there have been no reports of casualties so far and that two buses were shot at in the attack. And while polling continued in the island nation, Here's what the voters had to say. Come with a heart to serve his people, uh, not someone who is here for power or with a personal agenda. I've come here to cast my vote, not just for my future, but uh, the future of our children as well. So it is my prayer and belief that everyone around Sri Lanka, all citizens will vote wisely, vote with a clear conscience and elect uh, a leader who will come to serve his people. I prefer the candidate who works, not who talks. People can talk a hell of a lot of things. But the man who talks little is the man who works. We need a leader who would take the country uh, forward, who have proved himself an energetic, courageous and strong one. And now we have uh, political analyst Dr. Aruna Kulatunga joining us live from Colombo. Uh, uh, Mr. Kulatunga, uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, being with us uh, here on We On World is One. I wanted to begin by asking you, polling is over 80 percentage, more than 80 percentage of uh, voter turnout. Uh, which way do you see this going? You know, a high voter turnout, uh, who is it advantages for? Is it for Sajit Premadasa or for Mahinda Rajapaksha? First of all, thank you for inviting me for this. Um, statistically, you're right. Um, polling has uh, uh, finished and there has been a fairly high turnout. So uh, if you compare uh, this year's turnout, I think it's going to be over 80 percent. The election commissioner has said that it is between 80 to 84 percent just moments ago. Uh, I believe if you look at the previous um, elections, uh, the uh, specifically the 2015 uh, January election when uh, the current president uh, or the outgoing president, Mr. Mike Prada Sirisena, uh, came into power. The, uh, the turnout was something like 81%, 81.5% 81 uh, uh, approximately. Uh, it has been uh, my uh, experience that uh, whenever there's a higher turnout, uh, the UMP or in, in this case the UNF, uh, I had advantage. Uh, the UMP members are, are somewhat um, reluctant to go to votes, I think, so go to the polls. So um, if they are motivated to come out and they come out in numbers, uh, there is an advantage to the UMP, uh, to Mr. Sajid Premadasa. And that's the reason why probably Sajid Premadasa was uh, out on Twitter urging people 
to come out early and vote uh, to elect their next leader. Clearly, he knew uh, that a higher voter turnout means his advantage, Premadasa. There is an advantage. However, there is also a, 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 a little bit of a negative thing that I'm saying. Uh, whenever the UMP uh, or the UNF, or the, the, the coalition that UMP is a major uh, constituent of, comes into power, the minorities, uh, specifically the north and east of the country, votes with them. Uh, but this time, there is a slight, uh, from, from uh, unofficial figures that I'm seeing, I can see that there's a slight uh, decline, uh, specifically in the north, uh, Jaffna and uh, Waoni. Wani, there has been a decline in the. It's not 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 a major decline, but you are looking at around uh, three percent decline in in those districts uh, as far as the turnout is concerned. Talking that about the north, uh, talking about the north, uh, if I can intervene, uh, Dr. Arunakula, yes, I want to ask you about that incident that we've heard about uh, a convoy of Muslim voters as buses being yes. ambushed. Uh, that's a okay, really so worrying signal. No, uh, well, uh, this, uh, first of all, let me say that this, this particular election has been one of the most uh, peaceful elections Sri Lanka has uh, ever seen, if not the most peaceful. What happened here was uh, very unfortunate. There, was, there is a displaced community of Muslims who, um, uh, who were displaced by the violence uh, during the war, uh, LTT, uh, uh, the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Ilam, uh, pushed them out of uh, their traditional uh, homelands, which is... Uh, in Mena and uh, in the northwestern, uh, the northernmost part of the northwestern area, they were pushed down to an area called Putlam. So every at every election they go back to their old homes, uh, simply because they have that those homes are no longer there. So they are they 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 until they get re-established, the government has allowed them to vote in their old district, and and the convoy is taken from Putlam all the way up. Uh, to manner for the for this particular vote. Um, however, in this case, uh, I think they made a mistake of going through a fairly strong uh, hold of the former regime, uh, where trouble was expected. So they went without uh, proper police escort on on this occasion. Uh, finally, when they went through, there was no injuries, zero injuries. Uh, the bus was uh, not shot at. There were shots fired. But there were definitely a stoning of the buses, and there were there were tires burning, All right. uh, trees on on the street. But it was it it was um, it could have been avoided, and they were finally taken with police escort to their uh, final destination. Right. I have one last question. You're talking about how this high voter turnout of over 80 percentage is advantage Sajid Premadasa technically at this stage. We are yet to get the results. But we've seen my uh, Rajapaksha, Mr. Gotabaya Rajapaksha being extremely confident uh, today when he came out to vote. He sounded extremely confident that he is going to win these elections. But then going into polling day, uh, Rajapaksha uh, camp was hit by the nationality row, which is still in the courts of Sri Lanka. True, but uh, I believe that whatever that happens is going to be an extremely close race. Um, it it's may go into a second count. As you know, in Sri Lanka, there is a second preference and a third preference. Uh, I, I think it may go into, into that second count. And if, if it goes into the second count, uh, Mr. Premadas is at an at advantage. But if it goes, if Mr. Rajapax is able to pull through in the first count, he will win. So it's a very, very, very close um, uh, encounter. I believe it would be, you know, in the 49 percent to Mr. Rajapaksa, 49 point something. Uh, Mr. Premadas is slightly trailing behind at this moment. So the difference would be uh, in that second count. So, and you're telling us that when, if and when there is a second count, then that will be advantage, Mr. Rajapaksa. No, it would be other way around. It would be right. advantage to Mr. Premadasa. All right. So if there is. Yes. is if there's going to be a second round, then it's going to be advantage Premadasa. But for now, we're yet to uh, get the results of the first round of uh, counting. So we will leave it at That'll that. Uh, Dr. Aruna Kulatunga joining us live from Colombo here on We on World is One. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you to you too. Bye-bye.